Hello everyone. This is a short video to show you how to use OpSiv's third-person controller with Destroy It. So what I have here is the demo scene for the third-person controller, and I've got a bunch of boxes here. And I'm just going to show you what happens by default. So here I'm shooting the boxes, and we get this nice bullet decal effect and some particle effects off the boxes, but we don't get any actual damage or destruction, so let's change that. As you can see here, I've already imported Destroy It, and the first thing we always need to do anytime we're going to use the destroy it in a project is at least do the minimal setup. So under window destroy it, set up minimal, and that's going to add our destroy it um, game object here with our destruction manager and object pool, and then this input test which we can delete because we don't need it. The next thing we're going to do is click on one of our crates we're going to make it destructible by adding the destructible component. And this is where we would set its hit points and things like that. But for now, let's just leave that default and move on to the next required component, which is an OpSiv listener, a uh, damage listener. This script makes destructible objects listen to OpSiv's damage events. This script is available as a separate Unity package. Check the details under the video to find out where to get it. Once you install the package, it'll put this OpSiv third-person controller folder under the extras under destroy it. And in there you can see that here's the OpSiv damage listener and then we have some other files that we'll get to in a minute. If we look at the code for the listener script, you can see that there are three events that are registered. Damage by bullet, damage by explosion, and damage by melee. So when we put this script on a destructible object like we did earlier, we tell it to listen for OpSiv damage events, but we haven't told the weapons to fire those events. So let's do that now. If we switch back to our scene and we go look at the character controller, we'll go down and find the assault rifle. And under the shootable weapon script, we have these hit scan options. And one of those is the hit scan damage event. And this is where we'll tell the weapon to fire the event we want to listen for. Since this is an assault rifle, we'll fire the damaged by bullet event. Now when we run the scene and shoot the box again, we should see it get destroyed. And there it goes. Now the destruction is very simple at this point, but we can enhance that by adding a fallback particle effect and progressive damage. Let's do that now. If we go back to our scene, under the Extras folder, under Prefabs, Effects, there's a Wood Crate Explode Particle Effect, and we can add that to our crate. Under the Destructible script, on the Fallback Particle, just drag that there. And then anytime we add a new particle effect, we want to add it to the Object Pool. So we go down to the Destroy It Game Object, and the Object Pool, add a new entry, and drag it there. And then since I know I might want to destroy multiple crates, I'm going to go ahead and set this to 20. At this time, we can add our progressive damage material. This material will give the crate's texture the appearance of taking damage. We click on our crate, go to the Extras, Resources, Material Preload, and then we see this uh, material here that's actually a progressive damage material and we'll just replace the material that's on the crate with this material. We run the scene now and shoot the box. We can see it has some visual damage. If we keep shooting it, it explodes into pieces. So one thing you might notice at this point, if you grab the rocket launcher and fire it at our crate, the crate isn't destroyed. And that's because we haven't told the rocket launcher to fire the damage by explosion event. So let's do that now. If we go to our character controller, make this a little bigger, scroll down to where the rocket launcher is, and we have our shootable weapon script, and I'm looking for the projectile, which is the rocket. It's the thing actually doing the damage. And under the rocket, you can see that it, it has a explosion, and that rocket explosion is actually what fires the event. And it took me a little digging to find this. So here we want to say damaged 
by explosion. And now when we run the scene, pick up the rocket launcher, get out of the way, and you can see that it was destroyed into pieces. So now what we do from this point is add the events, the damage by melee, damage by bullet, or damage by explosion to all of the weapons that we're interested in on the character controller. So for instance the knife would need to be damaged by melee and etc. So I thought I'd end the video by making the rest of these crates destructible and shooting them up. So I'll select all of the crates except the one I've already done. Add the destructible script. Add the opsiv listener. I'll change the material to the progressive damage material. And change the fallback particle effect to our wood crate explode. Now when we run the scene, the boxes are all taking damage and exploding. And if I grab the rocket launcher, they're all destroyed. I hope you found this video helpful in integrating OpSiv's third-person controller with Destroy It. Thanks for watching.